Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open any app with a keyboard shortcut on your Mac. The application that we're going to be using is called Quicksilver. You can find a download link in the Gadget Hacks article, and it's completely free. Uh, once you set it up, you can open it. Here I have it open in my dock. And so this is what the Quicksilver window will look like. Uh, to start creating keyboard shortcuts, you're going to have to click on the gear icon and then head over to Quicksilver and go to Preferences. Uh, this larger window will appear and this is where you'll be creating the keyboard shortcuts. So head over to Triggers, uh, click on Custom Triggers, and here you can see one that I've created already. So using Command P, I can open up Photoshop. So let me create one and show you guys how it's done. So you're gonna go down here and you're gonna click on the plus sign and then click on Hotkey. So now I'm gonna search for an item to open up. I'll be opening up Ableton, which is an application for OS X. So just start typing in Able, and here it is. You can see here, this is Ableton Live 9 Suite. And the action that I'm gonna be doing is open, which is already here. And from there, all you have to do is click on save and you can now see it here. Uh, there's still no trigger, which is the hotkey. So you have to double click here where it says none and this will open up. So now you're going to enter the command that you want to use to open up Ableton here where it says hotkey. So I'll be typing in control A and here you can see it. Uh, make sure that on press is the only one clicked and you're pretty much done. So while you won't be able to see me using my keyboard, I can just hit Control A. And here you can see Ableton opened up on my computer. If I hit Control P, Photoshop will open up and here you can see that Photoshop has opened up. One other thing that you also should do is head over to Preferences and here you can see that only Show Icon in Dock is checked. So that means that this icon will show up in your dock. Um, and the only way the commands work is if Quicksilver is open. So what you can do to make it kind of unassuming is you can uncheck show icon in dock and you can click on start at login so that Quicksilver opens up every time you reset your computer. And then you can send the icon into your menu bar so it exists as a menu bar application. Also include access to all menu items for menu bar. So now when I open up Quicksilver, there will be no dock icon. Instead, it's a menu bar app and you can click on it and you can head over and create a keyboard shortcut uh, here through the menu bar simply by going to triggers and that'll open up this window. All right, well that's it, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at GadgetX. All right, thanks guys.